Hi, Angela Madden here, bringing you inspiration to help you live the life you love and love the life you live. Today, we are gonna talk about seasons. Have you noticed the season change outside? Here where I am, we didn't get to experience fall this year. We went straight from beautiful, warm, wonderful summer to freezing cold winter, double layered coats and boots. It's been great. My friends in the southern parts, I hope you enjoy your eternal summers. I'm so happy for you, so, so happy. <laughs> anyway, today we're not talking about the seasons of nature, but the seasons in your life. There are a lot of times indicators that will tell us our season is changing. And this is a question I get a lot. How do I know it's time for me to step out and do something else, or it's time for me to transition into a new role? There are three indicators that I often refer to and have seen in my own life that have helped me to navigate those waters. The first one, recognizing briars in the nest. What do I mean? It is said that mama birds will often gather briars and put them in the nest where her baby birds are. And she does this to compel the babies to get up so that they're a little uncomfortable and get out of the nest so she can nudge them and they can soar. Many times there are briars brought into our nest, our place of work, our position, our roles, our volunteer places or destiny positions. And those briars make us a little uncomfortable. I believe it's God's way of telling us it's time to soar. It's time to stop being so comfortable where you are there is more for you. So what can those briars look like? Those briars often will look like something that once brought you great joy in what you were doing. You loved it, you looked forward to it. Now, it's not so fun. It, it, it's kind of a challenge and it, it feels like, ugh, if I could do less of this, my position, my relationship, it would be so much better. Pay attention to those briars. Pay attention to where you're uncomfortable because you weren't created to stay in the nest. You were created to soar. The second is that you feel like you were operating from a place of greatness, from a place of grace. And now it feels like you are forcing everything. It feels like there's no longer a ease to it, but everything is a drudgery and difficult. Now, don't get me wrong. There are seasons within your job, if you're a business owner or you are in the most corporate position, there are seasons even within that that you're going to have to plow through and you're going to have to buckle down and just bear it and, and go with it. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, you know, it's going to get better as you do that. What I'm talking about is not that type of plowing. I'm talking about the type of drudgery that kind of comes in where there is no end in sight. It feels like you cannot do this any longer. I can remember being in Florida and working and interning and being a director of a dance team and here I was. It wasn't until about 12 months of doing this that my pastor sat me down and said, Ange, I want you to take account of how many hours of sleep you're getting and when you are sleeping because it was evident, obviously, that I wasn't. When I sat down, I counted up 13 hours for an entire week. Needless to say, the grace had lifted and I actually started breaking out in hives. <laughs> that was a good indication for me. Mm -hmm. Hives, not good. And so anyways, that was what helped me to know this is not where I am. This, is, this season has to end. The third one, okay, is you are now sitting in a place where you feel like anxiety ridden. You feel as though every thought of it, you just get anxious and you dread it and it fills you with worry, concern, fear, and nerves. Do you get Sunday blues before returning to work on Monday? Do you get a pit in the bottom of your stomach when you see that phone call come over from one of those managers or coworkers and now all of a sudden, oh, I don't want to answer that call. That is a good indication, albeit 
often ignored indicator that you have entered a seasonal change. It is time to start looking at something else. Maybe it's another position within the organization. Maybe it's something completely different, but you are worth the time to look at that, assess it, and realize where it is you're heading. Next week, we're gonna dive deeper into just that, figuring out how to get you to where you are and where you truly want to be. We'll see you next time.